What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy and in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the privacy settings that you must go through and make changes in your Google account. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is go to Chrome. So either on your phone or your laptop, just go to Chrome and then you have to search for myaccount.google.com and from here, you can manage your entire Google account. So if you haven't signed in yet, they'll give you an option to sign in. And then on the top right, you can see the account with which you've logged in. So over here, I'm going to show you some of the important privacy settings, which you must go through and make changes. So first you'll have to go to the section of data and privacy. So you'll find that on the left, it's the third option from the top. Just click on it. And over here, you'll see a lot of settings. So I'll show you each one of them right now. The first one is web and app activity. So just click on it. So over here, Google has said, that they'll save your activity on sites and then they'll use this to personalize your experience in all of the other services. So this is one setting which I usually keep off and to turn it off, just click on the button called turn off that's over here. Then you have to scroll down and then click on pause. And now as you can see, the setting is off. Now I'll go back to the settings and the next one is location history. So in this, every time your location is on, Google will keep a track of where you're going and then they'll personalize your experience. So again, I'll click on it. And as you can see, they've said the same things over here. So now if you want to turn this off, the same way, click on turn off and then click on pause. And now it's done. Then the next one is YouTube history. So in this, they'll keep track of all the videos that you watch and what all you search. So personally, I'm fine keeping this one on because then my YouTube recommendations are good. But if you want to switch this off, you can follow the same method of clicking on it and then just click on turn off. The next one is ad settings where Google will give you personalized ads. To personalize your ads, Google has to track you, which is why I like keeping this one off. And the next one is giving you personal results in search. So if you're searching something, then Google will auto complete your search. So over here, you can see the details of the setting They'll give you personal answers based on your info, then recommendations. So I like keeping this setting on because this saves a lot of time. Now the last two settings, which I feel are the most important. And these two are in the security section. So on the left, just click on security. And over here, you'll see two options, your devices and third party apps, which have access to your account. So the first thing that you should do is just click on manage third party access. And over here, you'll see many apps and websites which have access to your account and your information. So if you just scroll down, then over here, you'll get a list of all of the apps. And if you click on one, so let's say I click on Quora, you can see what all they have access to. So Quora has access to my basic account information. Then you can see when the access was given. And let's say you don't want to give access to Quora. Then what you can do is just click on remove access and then just click on OK. And now as you can see, it's gone. So you'll have to go through a list of all of these apps. And if you feel that you don't want to give access to some of them, then the same way, just click on it and then click on remove access. And now the last setting is your devices. So for this, just click on manage devices. And these are basically all of the device with which you've signed in using this account. So over here, if you find some device or some old device from which you want to sign out, then what you can do is just click on the three dots next to its name. And after that, just click on sign out and click on sign out again. And now as you can see, I've signed out from my account. These are all of the privacy and security settings in your Google account, which you should know. So I hope this video helped you. And if it did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.